One more thing to note here that I should have looked at. This is the anti-pumping relay. So once I turn the control switch, that will energize and that will remain energized until the closed switch contact opens again. So I'm going to try my best to simulate that here. Come over here. Alright, so I got my hand on the control switch. Now, I reinstalled the springs on the undervolt, so it's going to trip free. But I'm just going to show that if it trips free and that control switch remains closed, that anti pump relay is going to remain closed the entire time as well. My hand is still on the close switch, so that anti-pump relay is still energized, but it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and it's not trying to close the breaker again. As soon as I release the control switch, it'll open, and now I can try to attempt to close again. still holding the switch that anti pump is still energized but with that being energized it opens the circuit to the closing coil so that it can't attempt to close again all right I'm going to release the control switch anti pump relay opens <laughs> 